Hello! It is the evening today and we are down at the allotment. Um, I'm Amy, welcome to my channel. If you're new around here, I've seen that we've got a, a little flurry of new likes. Uh, you are right. Biggest miss is busy trying to cut through a bed with some shears. Yeah, well done. <laughs> We haven't been to the allotment to show you guys around for a little while. Um, yeah, I'm back at work, so uh, I thought I'd show you what's going on down here. <laughs> Let's go cracking. Come on with your trimming. Oh dear. So Biggie Smith just called me a noob. She said she didn't mean to. Apparently she meant to call me a numpty. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure which is better. <laughs> the allotment and um, quite excited I've been given some presents by one of the site managers let me let me show you I've got two pumpkin plants apparently these are called cargo and they get huge so now I've got to try and find um, a spot for them. not he was a bit noisy wasn't he not sure where I'm going to put the pumpkins at the moment um, the initial massive excitement at having an allotment has died down, <laughs> I'll say. Um, I still love coming here. I love the idea of growing my own still. We're still growing a lot at home. I haven't bought any salad leaves, which I'm loving. Um, just send the kids up to the greenhouse or the back border and say, could you go and pick some lettuce, please? Which they're really enjoying. Um, but I'm starting to experience like the not so good side of organic um, growing your own um, and I just feel a bit flat honestly um, I've come down and there's lots of things that aren't quite going to plan um, all of my strawberries have been eaten by birds um, so we won't be getting any of those this year. I didn't have many plants and the plants are sending out runners now so I'll concentrate on doing like pegging down my runners so I get more plants for next year but that's <laughs> disheartening um, when you spend all the time trying to protect them from the birds and then um, birds bloody get them anyway. Um, they haven't discovered the uh, gooseberries yet. Quite big. And there's loads and loads of red currants and there's even some going red underneath can you see this is the herb bed look at all the daisies swaying in the breeze they are pretty this bed has just been left this year i haven't done anything with it i was planning to put a bed down there and then the weather got mad hot i couldn't i couldn't dig anything um so i think i'm just gonna have to work with what i've got at the moment like this year and then as it gets colder sort of autumn time and the ground softens up again um, I'll give it a go but I'll show you my biggest disappointment so far <laughs> this is my onion well it's my allium bed so I've got um, onions down the end uh, shallots in the middle and garlic at the end so we've come up today to try and finally get that bed over there sorted um, and turn it into another no dig and we've checked the uh, garlic and I'm a bit gutted to say that we've got rust rust which is rubbish I'm not sure how quickly it's going to mess with it or if it's going to spread. I've got to Google it. Some of them are worse than others, like this one. And you see the whole leaf is covered in spots. There's spots over there. Spots 
see where yeah, there's spots everywhere, isn't there, I bet? I don't think it's properly taken hold yet, so I'm gonna have to Google and ask on like allotment gardening sites and see what people can suggest whether it'll just be a case of trimming and burning the foliage that's been affected or what to do. I mean these aren't due to come out for a good like month or more. Um and there's no way they're ready. Right, I'm gonna try and show you now. I, I dug one up. This is my garlic. It smells lovely. You're right up. <laughs> um, it smells lovely, lovely garlic, but it's just a single clove. It looks like a giant spring onion. I've taken the tops off because it was uh, rusty and I've put it into the bonfire. So I'm gonna set fire to it rather than compost it because I know that I shouldn't do that but I'm not sure what to do whether to leave them in or pull them out or because these won't store very well and it will be the first year in oh yeah I don't know how long um, when I'll have to potentially buy a new garlic seed um, unless I still have some um, like dry stored cured at home that I'm using in recipes maybe I'll have to keep one of those and see if that um, that lasts well enough to go to next year so yeah I'm, I'm really gutted it's, uh, it's rubbish really um, there doesn't seem to be, be any on any of the onions or on the shallots which is good I had a couple go to seed um, uh, this one yeah and we've just taken off the uh the flower head hopefully that'll just they'll just be the ones that we use first um so we've had a few go to this is rust. It is rust, well <laughs> we've had a few go to seed but not um not too many and i i didn't use heat treated ones so i used the ones from the allotment shop this year which i've not used before i've usually ordered them online so I'm still quite pleased because these were like I said they were so cheap I have found one thing though that excited me deep in amongst the onions I've found what could potentially be an exciting present look look at this this looks an awful lot like asparagus which is very exciting so I'm gonna try and leave that alone and see what it does because if um, if it is I'll leave it in there and then instead of putting onions and stuff in this bed um, I might turn it into like a um, an asparagus bed like permanently because I was thinking of doing that but I wasn't sure where to put it so it probably won't be the whole thing it'd be like, like half of it um right I'm gonna get on with so still waving my garlic around oh how disappointing right never mind <laughs> we shall um google if, if you guys know of any ideas what to do with rust should I just pull everything out I've never had rust before but then I've only ever grown um, I've only ever grown in my back garden so maybe I just need to keep garlic at home mm, don't know don't know what would you suggest let me know in the comments and I'll google as well <laughs> ah still working right so <laughs> we've run out of newspapers we've covered a big chunk of the cut grass inside the sweet corn bed uh, biggest miss is just trying to <laughs> open the compost bag with <laughs> varying degrees of success you right there monkey yeah okay. um yes yeah, so <laughs> we're gonna um get the 
compost down and then if it's deep enough I'll put sweet corn in and if not I'll be back tomorrow with more compost and then I'll put the sweet corn in because <laughs> um, the poor stuff's looking a bit unwell now in its uh, in its tiny little tray so it, re it really needs to go in the ground. Would you like some help there? Uh, I'm gonna go and assist. I've had progress. Are you alright? Uh, uh, that's a um, hard question. We always forget to bring a knife, don't we? <laughs> Determination is key, huh? Oh my goodness. I right. did it! Well done. Right, uh -huh. let me tip it up. Right, this is as far as we got. We've <laughs> run out of newspaper and we don't really have enough compost. We've just put it on thinly. Yeah, I've right. just got to water. <laughs> yeah, we just put it on thinly so that it holds the paper that is there where we want it. Now we are going to water. Don't look at me like I'm strange. Now we're going to water and then we'll be back tomorrow morning, yeah? I'm looking at you because you are Jay. <laughs> She's so rude to me. She's so rude. First you call me a noob and then call me strange. Oh my goodness me. Right, um, yeah, we're gonna go and get all the watering done because there's plenty of watering to do. And then we are gonna come back in the morning and try and sort out the bed, finally. <laughs> it's getting quite dark now. Oh, I'm gonna put my cardi back on because it's cold. It's been a beautiful, ooh, it's been a beautiful day today. Apparently I can't get my cardigan back on because I've managed to take it off inside out and I'm way too tired <laughs> to be able to engage my brain and try and get it on. Right, there we go, it's around the shoulder at least. Oh, my grapevine's looking lovely, it's getting loads and loads and loads and loads. With grapes on it. You just water in the bath, baby. Is that it then? Oh, yes. So, right, we're gonna go home and we'll see you tomorrow. Are you coming in the morning or are we gonna come in the afternoon? Morning. morning. We'll be here in the morning. And, uh, all right, see you then. Right, it is the next day. It is absolutely sweltering but we are here it's me and biggest little miss again mm -hmm. we're here and we are determined to get it done aren't we yes, yes. yes. you do need your gloves <laughs> so we're down here and um we have put down the last newspaper we picked up some more um compost from our local nursery um which is the one that delivered to us through all this chaos so i thought it'd be nice to um support them again so we've picked up six bags each with 40 litres in it of compost and we've used one of those bags to top up the girls beds because we've plant um, we've planted some pumpkins in there which I'll show you and the rest of it went into the now functioning sweet corn bed yes finally done it yay um, we also picked up a couple of runner beans because they have no seeds and um, I can't grow them at home. The aphid infestation is insane. Um, for some reason they leave the climbing French beans alone but they ravage the, uh, the runners. So we got some of those which we're going to find a space for um, probably <laughs> at the end of the strawberry bed um, and try and grow them up a wigwam there to see if they fare better at the allotment. Uh, not feeling as flat today, probably because the sun's out and I'm not as knackered, but um, yeah. Should we crack on with the sweet corn? Mm. Yeah, and then we can go home and have a drink. <laughs> right, so first job will be to try and separate all of the like sweet that? corn really carefully. Oh, oh yeah, they're yeah they're they all need to be separated. So we've filled it with 
lovely compost. We've got lots of, if you take out the whole strip, like so, <laughs> and then separate them. From there, it'd be easier. It should be very, very gentle. Get your hands right in around the roots. Get your fingers right in and between the roots, and hopefully they'll pull apart. Right, so she's trying to pull those apart. This is what we've done. It's a bit windy today. I've got more sheet wool to go round it. These are the butternut squashes that are going to grow in amongst the sweet corn. We're just laying them out. How many have we got all together? Lots. Lots. Okay. 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 Like 21. So they're all going to go in here. And um, we're going to put the squashes um, in those corners over there, we think. I think that'd be good, don't you? And then hopefully they'll have the whole thing to trail across. Unless, of course, they decide they want to go under the apple tree. In which case... You know, that's that's a squash's prerogative, I suppose. Yeah. Right, we're going to crack on and get these planted. I don't have the tripod with me today, so we will not be time lapsing it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll show you when we're done. All planted. Now I'm going to water. You're going to water other stuff now. So we've got sweet corn planted at the front. We've got 21 sweet corn planted in a sort of block. Four by five. We've got two butternut squashes I can't remember the variety of them but they're trailers so they will fill up this entire bed and I've got a big old space so I'm thinking I might put I've got another butternut squash but it's a bush variety and I wasn't sure where to put it at home so I think I'm going to stick it in there I think that I think that'll work quite well don't you well, oh yeah. stick the butternut squash thing in there yeah, yeah that's what I'm going to do Sweet. Right, time for sheep's wool. Yeah, Yay, excited. Yeah. Boom. Boom. It's, um, it's a little bit fragrant. <laughs> it's it's been um it's been sat up here for a week or two now, isn't it? Um, from the time of my last video, actually, about uh, about mulching with sheep's wool. But um, it'll it'll do the uh, do the sweet gone a world of good being mulched. Um, it's just so it's so dry at the moment. Uh, I don't think we're predicted to have any proper rain for weeks, so we need to do everything we can to try and protect my. Uh... <laughs> Looks like the allotment neighbour needs a hand. <laughs> Be right back. Bless her, she twisted her ankle. <laughs> she's all right though. She's fine, and she's cracking up. Uh, right, we've done the, mind you what, I say we've done, um, Biggest Little Miss has done the mulching of the sweet corn, so let's have a look at that. Here we go. Another cloud. You can see all the little sweet corn plants in between. They're very yellow at the moment because they desperately need some food, but the compost should give them that. Yeah. So we've got butternut squash there, we're going to plant probably a butter bush in there. We've got sweet corn and then we've planted some pumpkins today, haven't we? Oh, and, and the cucumber in her bed. So, that's it for today. Right, I'm going to grab my bag and then we are going to head home. Right, let's go. Oh. So that's our work at the allotment done for this weekend. I'm home and having an ice cream to cool off in the dappled shade of the jasmine, which is starting to grow beautifully. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for joining us and for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. I want to say another thank you to Tim from My Carbon Coach. I'll link his channel below if any of you guys want to check him out. That'd be great. Okay, I'll see you next time. Hope you're all having a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.